Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I am so excited to show you the 2021 Numar Ventana. Now there's tons of features on this coach, and I'm gonna go over everything. If you've watched my videos before, you'll kind of see the pattern, but I'm gonna go over everything on the outside of the coach, and then I'll go to the inside of the coach, and we'll do a little driving at the end. Um, now, if you wanna skip ahead to something, if you go to the bottom right-hand corner, if you're on your phone, there's a little arrow. If you click that, you're gonna see that my whole video is divided into chapters. So if there's something that you wanna watch twice, um, or show a friend, or skip to, if you wanna go right to the inside, you can do that. So um, thanks for watching with me today. Now, let me tell you, who is the Ventana for? The Ventana is a luxurious coach. You know, Numar really doesn't know how to make an entry-level coach. Um, but this would be a great coach if you're wanting to, you know, try out RVing, um, not spend a ton of money, but you want to go Class A diesel, you may want a full time in this. It's very comfortable, luxurious, beautiful coach, and I'll tell you all about it. First of all, let's look at this beautiful paint job. So this is the Largo exterior. There's two other options that you can choose from, Belmont and Chateau. Now, if you call us at National Indoor RV Centers, we can also customize your paint for you. So you can change any of the colors on this coach, and uh, Numar will send us a rendition of what that's gonna look like. And it's a, there's a small fee involved, but really it's not that big of a deal um, if you want to totally have a custom coach that you're never gonna match in a campground. So this is gonna be the 4369. This is uh, Numar's like bread and butter floor plan. So you've got it in the Dutch Star and you've got it in the Ventana. Um, actually 43 feet, 10 inches, and the height is 13 feet, one inch. Now, as I go through the Ventana, I wanna point out that there's a lot of options on this coach. At National and RV Centers, we wanna add as many options that, that we know our customers will like because it's always less expensive to do that at the factory level than to do that aftermarket. So as I go through, I'll try to um, point those things out that I, we've added that are optional, but if you wanna know for sure, give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers where one of our lifestyle specialists can walk you through an order form and give you all the options and, and we'll also help you, you know, know what's really important maybe what's not and but we want it to be perfect for you and that's really the goal so um, as i start here at the front of the coach want to look at this beautiful front windshield so we love the windshield i know that sounds silly but really that is part of the experience of RVing is sitting in that really comfy captain seat and then having this big windshield. It's like your motion picture movie screen. So really that's one of the things that you're going to love as you're driving down the road, just this big screen and this beautiful country that you get to see. So I want to point that out. One of the things that Numar does that I really like is the way they mount their windshield. So it's just like they do in the automotive industry. So there's no rubber gasket. It's just really nice and sleekly um, if that's a word, sleekly mounted, <laughs> but it looks nice. Now at the top of the windshield, we've got our marker lights. And then in the center, you'll see that we have our first camera. So this is an option on the Ventana is you can option in the 360 camera. So when you're inside the coach, you're gonna get that um, bird's eye view of the coach, which is really cool. So that's our first camera, our nice windshield. Then we've got the beautiful front cap with the Ventana lights. And let's head over and we can look at our uh, chrome exterior um, convex mirrors. Those are internally controlled and you've got defrost on them. You've also got your little um, light here. We've got our flagpole holder. So this is really nice. You just put your little flagpole holder. I'll, I'll show that to you in a little bit. But you can um, fly our beautiful American flag or National Indoors flag <laughs> or your favorite team flag. It's kind of a, a fun little thing. And then we've got our side view camera. So when you turn on your right turn signal you're going to be able to see down the full length of the passenger side and the uh, driver's side of the coach now one of the things i want you to notice let's talk about how numar mounts their um, air conditioning units so they mount their air conditioning unit right on the roof and then they've got a gutter system so that runoff say you've got a, a really you know you're in a big rainstorm or you've got heavy condensation um, when it's mounted to a pan occasionally that can overflow and it can go into you know come into the vents um, into your coach well numar does it 
right on the roof and then they've got a gutter system that kind of uh, directs the water to the corners of the coach and gutter system all the way around the coach and then you've got internal drains so it comes down here you're not going to see any runoff on the sides of your coach so this beautiful paint job is always going to look beautiful you're not going to have water you know stains here and you can see this big puddle here um, underneath the coach is from the ac this morning so it was dripping and but nothing is on the side of the coach. So I really love the way that they do that. All right, so the, you have three ways that you can get into your coach, obviously with your key. Then you have your keyless pad here, so you can make your own custom code. So you can let in the grandkids or the service technician, um, which is really nice. And then we've got our key fob, which the lock and unlock, which is really nice. So you can lock it, unlock. And we also have the key fob for our cargo doors. So we can un unlock, lock and unlock those here which is probably, you know, I'll point out a lot of my favorite features. It's the first of my favorite fe features on the Ventana. But if you've ever had to go through and unlock each door individually, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, little hint for my Newmar friends here. People are always wondering the length and uh, of the coach. So with Newmar, the number here gives you the information. So 43 is the length. I mentioned earlier, this is a 43 um, 10 foot coach. And then 69 is the floor plan. So anytime, first two numbers are the length, last two are the floor plan. A little trick for you to remember that or just visually see what floor plan and, and size of coach that you're looking at. So new for 2021, we have 315 Michelin tires all the way around this coach. So that's really nice. That extra um, size in the tire, it actually gives you extra width. So that you have more you know, rubber on the road. It's gonna give you a smoother, softer ride. Then another thing that Newmar does that I really like is right behind the tire, we've got a steel compartment there that protects our fuel line. So the fuel fill is right here. We've got the dual fuel, fuel fill on the passenger and driver's side of the coach. This is our 100 gallon, um, diesel fuel tank here and we've got the little tether you know so we don't forget it you know just the little details then we've got our marker light and we'll head into our first storage bay so we have a nice big storage bay here inside we've got a 12 volt receptacle and uh, two 110 outlets now this is a bay that you could if you wanted to um, add a, a freezer you could Put that in this bay here. Just to give you some uh, idea of what the size is of this compartment, I have my handy dandy, um, you know, Ballard design uh, <laughs> measuring tape here. But we're looking about an opening of 30 by 44. That's approximate, just to give you an idea. And then the depth of this compartment, since I can reach the back of it, is about 27 inches. Newmar has also supplied an air hose, so if you want to connect that to the airline and fill up a, you know, sports equipment, you can do that. Now, if you refer back to my RV 101 video, I show you how you can actually uh, use your diesel engine to air up your tires, but you will need a more robust air hose than this. All right, here we have a pass-through tray. Now, these are really nice because you're just going to pull it all the way out this direction and you can do the same thing on the driver's side which makes it just really easy if you've got a heavy tool chest or something that's you know hard to maneuver in and out it's really nice to put them on these um, trays now one of the things the tray does is it does raise the floor of your basement a little bit so between the bottom of the chassis rail to the uh, floor of your pass-through tray, you've got about 14 and a half inches of clearance there in the center of your coach. And we have another pass-through compartment here with no tray, so we're gonna have more height there. We've got extra tiles um, for our coach in case we ever need them. Hopefully we never will, but I love that Newmar gives you those just in case. And then we have new LED lighting in the basement compartment. So you can kind of see that LED strip makes it really easy to see everything in your basement compartment. Here we have the passenger security light. And then we have our second camera that's going to contribute to that bird's eye view when we get inside the coach. We're going to have two more cameras as we go around the coach. We've got our marker light and then a nice big storage compartment here. Now this doesn't pass through, but we do have a nice big tray. So very easy to get to all your items in the very back of this deep storage compartment. Lots to talk about in here. So we optioned in the central vac 
into the Ventana. And this is all of our hoses and everything. Now, what's really nice about this is not only do you have that for inside the coach, you also have it for your basement compartment here where you can hook up your hose right there, vacuum out your basement compartment, and you can pull your car up alongside the coach and clean it as well. So that's kind of handy. Then we've got our uh, splitter for our direct TV. We have our slide room um, bedroom control here. We have our Gerard awning controls. We've got our two 110 outlets, and this is this the control module for your Auto Gen Start. Really don't have to do anything with that, but just so you know where it's located. All right, and then we've got our pegboard compartment here. Doesn't look like a lot of space, but this is where I see customers put a lot of tools, extra hoses, um, extra oil, or a DEF. You can store it here. Um, they really become very creative on how they maximize the use um, for this space. So if you're in the campground, it's always fun to go and you know meet up with a friend and ask them about how, how, how they use their storage here. But it is handy, and I love that Numar gives it to us. So on the Ventana 4369, you have the passive stair tag axle. So I kind of like to compare them to belly buttons, innies and outies, but the two outies, you can see when it matches your front axle, that you've got the passive stair um, tag axle, which is gonna give, give you a tighter wheel cut. All right, so now to our chassis battery compartment. So we've got our two chassis batteries here, and then we have our chass chassis disconnect. So if we are lucky enough to have you as customers, storage customers at any of our locations where we store over 300 coaches indoors, always plugged into 50 amp service, you don't need to worry about turning off that battery disconnect. Now, if you're not storing with us, you're storing elsewhere, you're not plugged in 50 amp service all the time, you wanna make sure you turn that disconnect off so they don't have any parasitic draw on your batteries. So you might be wondering what this is. This is your diesel particulate filter. So remember years ago when you used to step on the gas in a big old diesel coach and all that black soot would kind of come out the exhaust? Well, that's not gonna happen anymore. All of that now is collected in the particulate filter and when it gets full enough, your, auto, your engine will go into regen mode where it becomes like an incinerator in there and then burns that off and dissipates it. And here is the coolant for our Oasis hydronic heating module. Right above our tag axle, we've got the vent here. You're probably wondering that, what that's for. That's for your dryer, another optional item in the Ventana. We have our last marker light for the passenger side of the coach, and let's head on to the back. So now finally to the rear of the Ventana. First of all, I love this end cap. I think it's just really nicely appointed and pretty. We've got our, at the very top, we've got our three marker lights, and we've optioned in the ladder on the back of the coach. Then we've got our camera, our rear view camera. Again, that's gonna contribute along with this to our 360 camera. Brake light there, so it's a little bit higher. You know, if you're towing something, people will be able to see that brake light nice and clear. I just like the way this looks, nice and clean. With the 40 foot plus length Ventanas, you're gonna get the 400 horsepower engine, which is going to give you 1250 foot pounds of torque, and you're gonna be able to tow 15,000 pounds. Great thing, Freightliner has added the airline for the brake, for your braking system, for your tow vehicle. And then you've got your seven way here. All right, so now let's get to our engine compartment. Let's pull this lever here and it comes right up. So we've got our transmission uh, check and fill here. Our engine oil fill, our engine dipstick. We've got our power steering fluid. And below this flap, we've got our coolant. And we've got our Deutsch plug. This is so our technician at National Indoor RV Centers can plug their computer into the engine and read diagnostics for the engine. And here's your air filter minder. So when it goes up to the line here, you know it's time to change your filter. And our rear radiator. With the Freightliner chassis, you get ultra steer. So when you're below 15 miles per hour, your passive steer tag axle will unlock so that it can follow, follow the front tires and make that tire, tighter turn. So we have our marker light for the driver's side of the coach. And we've got a little storage compartment here. Now inside this compartment, we've got the plug-in for our engine block heater. So if you're up north and it's getting real cold, you wanna warm up that engine before you get started, you'll come out here and plug that in right there. 
And this is a little pass-through area here. I'm gonna open this compartment here so you can see the length of that compartment. So it's nice and big. Numar really packs in the safety features. One of the things that's big that Numar does that no one else does is this emergency egress door. I love the way that it looks. It kind of just blends in with the side of the coach. There is no handle on the outside. You can only access this from the inside and it's really easy. I'll show you when we get inside, but basically you just remove a panel, uh, and Velcro a telescoping ladder. It's just really easy to get out of the coach or if you wanna use it to load the rear of the coach, you can use it for that as well. So then we have our DEF tank. So this is our diesel exhaust fluid and DES has a shelf life of about a year. So you wanna check that and it doesn't like sun or heat. And they give us a nice visible gauge here that we can see how full it is. Numar has given us a great little compartment here for our stinky slinky or sewer hose. I love having that extra space because I really don't want to keep that in my wet bay. I want to keep that nice and as, as sanitary as I can. So it's nice that I've got a place that I can put that away right here. Here is our exhaust for the Oasis hydronic heating system. And here's our beautiful wet bay. I say that because I love that they've added this stainless steel front plate, just makes it look so high end. And then everything is really nicely labeled. We've got the LED light strip so we can see what we're doing if we've got a hookup at night. That's a nice feature. And we've got our water hose here and it's on auto reel. Again, if you've ever had them where they're not on auto reels, you really appreciate that. So I love that. We've got our water filter for the coach. Then we've got our sewage rinse here. And when I talk about sewage rinse, I always used to think that it was kind of like my dishwasher and it was like just really rinsing out that tank. Basically it's a nozzle that um, adds a little pressure so it sprays into the tank and then pushes everything through, but it's not a true rinse. So I just want you to visualize that correctly. So we have our freshwater tank fill, our manual fill and our auto fill, our water pump. And then we've got our gray water holding tank and our drain outlet so we can just hook up our clear el elbow here and attach our stinky slinky. I do all of this in my RVing 101 series. So if you wanna check that out, you can see how I start a trip, um, get to a campground, hook everything up, and then leave the campground and put everything away. A great new feature for 2021, they've increased the tank sizes. Well, we all love that, right? So now we have a 55 gallon black tank 75 gallon gray tank and a 105 gallon freshwater tank. So great new feature. Then we've got our external shower here, our little shower head, and we've got our low point drains, our hot and our cold drains. So if you need to winterize your coach, you have your instructions on how to do that right there. Again, if you store with us at National Indoor RV Centers, something that you don't have to worry about because you will, you'll never be in risk of freezing, so you can use your coach all year round. So if you want to pick it up in December and take it out, you can use it. I love that Newmark gives us this plastic um, compartment here because you are going to get water in there. And anyway, it's not going to seep through or go into your basement because it's all contained in kind of a little tub here, which is really nice. And then they also give us the rubber seal here that we can put those hoses through. Keeps everything nice and sealed off tight from bugs and critters um, once we're camping. All right, so now we have our 50 amp shore power cord. So I think on the passenger side of my coach, the fa my favorite thing was the fact that we had the unlock um, fob for the cargo bays. Well, on the driver's side of the coach, it is that we have the auto reel for this 50 um, amp shore power cord because these will get really cumbersome as you're trying to wind those up, especially on a cold morning. So I really like that feature. We've got our um, SureGuard transfer switch. We've got a light in this compartment. We have our RV power monitor for our auto transfer switch. And then we've got our input for cable, satellite one and satellite two. And we also have the nice rubber seal here so that we can hook up our 50 amp shore power cord and then shut the door. All right, and behind door number what, 10? I don't know where we're at. <laughs> we have our Oasis hydronic heating module. So this is gonna provide you your on-demand hot water and it's gonna be your furnace once you drop below like 35 degrees. You're gonna have your heat pumps and your AC units um, until it gets a little bit colder. Then you'll go ahead and turn on your Oasis system and turn on your furnace. 
Here on the driver's side, we have our fourth camera that's gonna give us that full 360 view, bird's eye view once we're inside the coach. We've got our marker light. And then we've got our big pass-through compartment from the driver's side of the coach. And we have our pass-through with the tray. So again, that's going to extend just as far on the driver's side as it does on the passenger side. And here we have our eight deep cycle batteries. So you can just pull out those plugs there and then you can pull the whole tray really easily out so that when you need to add water, it's just super easy to get to the battery. All right, we have our marker light and our fuel fill for the driver's side of the coach. We've got our exhaust here for our generator. And then we've got our fuses for the front half of the coach. One of the things that I love that Newmark does is they give us those extra fuses, a little space to hold them here. So I don't have to look in a you know Ziploc that, that I'm gonna have like in some drawer inside the coach. I love that it's just right there for me, super easy. And then we've got the T-bar here. So we can pull that so that we can open the front cap. As we go around to the front of the coach, we have our side camera for the left or the driver's side of the coach when we put on that left blinker. So let's check out what's underneath the front cap here. So here we have our kind of what I call the wussy horn. When I'm driving something this big and this heavy, I wanna make sure I have my air horn on. So our air horns are right here. We also have the optional hot water line to the generator area. This is a must. One of those things, I'm not sure why they haven't made it standard. Um, when you get to a campground, you're gonna wanna hook up a hose here. You're gonna have hot water. You can wash off your windshield, wash off your front cap, all the bugs off that. Keep your paint job nice and neat and your windshield nice and neat so that when you're in the campground, you're not looking through that buggy windshield. So I love that feature. Then we've got our fuel filter for the Oasis system here and our windshield wiper fluid. We've got our quick air connect here. So that's where we can hook up that air hose if we wanna fill up balls or inflatables, whatever. We've got our Onan 8,000 watt generator here. We've got our oil fill here and our coolant fill here. We can start and stop the generator. We're also gonna have the generator hours. And if you happen to trip the breaker on your generator, you would pull over and then you would reset that right there. We have our dash AC behind here. And then we have the reservoir for our hydraulic fluid for our um, hydraulic jacks. One of the features that adds to the very high-end feel of this Ventana coach is that it has the integrated Girard awnings. So I love that, look how beautiful it looks and we've got the remote control. So when you're ready to have a party, all you have to do is come out here, unlock it, make sure it's on zero. That means both awnings will come out at the same time and hit out. Once our awnings are extended, you can go ahead and put your lights on. So now that we've got our beautiful awnings out, this nice shaded area, it's time for some entertainment, right? So, Go here. We have our big 43 inch TV with our Bose soundbar and it tilts out, which is huge because a lot of times that's what it's, um, the sun will come in just at an angle and it gives you enough glare that you can't see your, your TV. So if you can just tilt it forward a little bit, it's all you need. On this 4369, we optioned in the kitchen window. You're gonna really appreciate that when you're inside the coach and throughout or all the way around the Ventana, we have the dual paned frameless windows. All right, so now it's time to go inside my favorite part. Um, when we walk in, first of all, you can see that the steps come out. Now, once I'm at the campground, I'm gonna wanna lock those so that they stay out every time I open and shut the door. Otherwise, I'm just needlessly working that motor and I don't wanna do that. And then right inside the coach here, we've got great storage. So inside the steps, and that goes the full distance from here to there. So it's nice and deep. If you wanna put shoes in there, so you're not tracking dirt into your coach, or if you wanna put the dog's leash or the dog's food. Anyway, great storage compartments right inside the coach. Now let's go check out the rest. 
So as we step into the coach, there's a few things I wanna point out. First of all, we have our fire extinguisher right here, so you can easily get to that inside the coach or outside the coach. And we've got our cargo bays where we can lock and unlock them right here. So if we don't have our key fob handy, we can just reach inside the door, unlock our cargo bays or make sure we you know, check them at night and lock them. And we have our battery disconnect, so easy to hit that off as we leave or hit it back on when we come back. Then I love, love, love the grab bars that you get with Numar. So you are gonna be able to securely get in and out of this coach, no problem, because you've got these great grab bars to get in and out with. Um, then we've got the MCD uh, nightshades throughout the coach. And I wanna point out, because here on the passenger's, uh, well on the door, but the passenger's view, you know, if you didn't want to look through this screen the whole time that you're traveling down the road. Numar's made it really easy to just be able to look through the window. So you just unsnap that, that secures it. Your screen goes up and now you've got a nice view of the countryside as you're traveling down the road. But if you want that screen back, you just bring it down and snap that securely into place. And then you've got your blackout shade for when you're ready to, you know, the evening to get it nice and private in here, very easy to do. So as I step up here into the cockpit, I just wanna kinda of go over the what we have in the cabinet area here. We've got some storage here. So we have our 43 inch Samsung TV. And then we've got this cabinet here. We've got lots of important things to discuss. So we'll just start from the top and go down to the bottom. In the very back of the cabinet, we've got one 110 outlet that's available. Then we've got our um, Traveler WineGuard satellite, and we've optioned in the SkyPro LTE router. So that's gonna make this coach a hotspot, um, just like you would have at your home. So that's an optional feature. Again, if you want to know what's come standard on the Ventana and what your options are, please give us a call at National Adore RV Centers where we can walk you through what we've added to this 4369, um, what we think is important, and then you can let us know what you wanna add so you can really custom build your coach. We've got our um, wine guard over the air antenna, so we just turn that on and hit search. And we are inside the building at National Indoor RV Centers and is still gonna pick up 17 um, stations here. We did do the solar prep on this coach, so if you wanted to add solar panels, you could do that easily. This is your awning in and out for your door awning. Then we've got the Gerard controls for our integrated Gerard awnings. So this is gonna work the same as it did outside. I unlock the system, I can scroll through my channels, so zero is gonna bring out both awnings at one time, or I can just bring out the front awning, or the back awning, or both together. In, stop, and out. So you don't have to bring them all the way out, you can stop halfway if you want to. Then we've got our power control system. So this is just basically going to let us know that we're plugged into 50 amp service. This is also going to protect the coach. So it will shed the load. If we're over taxing the system, it will you know, shut down an AC unit and just, it won't, it, it will protect your electrical system. And then we've got our security lights. So one for the passenger side of the coach outside. And then we've got the exterior step. So this is what I mentioned as I was coming in. Once you're you know, set in a campground, you want to lock that step in the out position. That way it won't open every time you open your door, or it won't come out every time you open your door and shut your door. This is our hydronic, Oasis hydronic system. So we can turn on our burner here. We have our AC heat one and two. Then you've got your off door slide out here. So that's going to be your big um, full wall slide. You can bring it in and out and your door side slide out in and out here. We've got our Magnum energy um, control panel here. This is gonna, this is for your inverter. It's gonna show you what you're um, plugged into or what kind of charge you're getting right now. So we have a float charge. So here's the display for our tanks. So we can turn our water pump on and off here. Also giving us a reading on our house batteries and our chassis batteries and our tank. So fresh, again, that's 105, our gray is 75, and our black is 55. Again, they've added 10 extra gallons in each of those tanks. For, um, and then you can do your top off and autofill. Then we wanna go to our HVAC system. So this is where you can turn on your cooling system. 
First of all, you want to make sure you turn it on or it's not gonna do anything for you. So you've got the AC for the living room, kitchen and bedroom. In the 4369, you get three AC units. Setup, this is where you can basically program your AC system or heating system so that it will run certain hours of the day. Um, it may prove to be a little um, frustrating if you're traveling. So say you're in Texas where it's super hot one day and then you're in South Dakota where it gets nice and chilly. Um, you may not want that program to be running the same, so it's gonna vary. And then we have the hold button. So say you have set up a program where you want your AC to run so long, but all of a sudden it's a chilly day. You may want to hold that program um, so you can turn on your heat or whatever. Then we have the eco mode, which is just a more economical way to run your HVAC system. And then you can see that you can customize for each section. So your living room, your kitchen, and your bedroom. You can set the temperature here, and then you just go through mode on, off, fan and you can set that all here and it's given us our current temperature inside the coach. Let's talk about this gorgeous interior. So these are the Newport glazed maple cabinets. Love this color, it's just a nice brown, soft, warm color, so it's really inviting. And then we've gone with the Chateau interior package. Again, National Indoor RV Centers, we customize some of the things in the coach, so you'll see that I've got a King Air floor in here. We can do those same customizations for you. Just give us a call at 469-277-1330 and we'd be happy to help you. Now we optioned this coach with the recliners that are super comfy. I've turned around the two captain's chairs. With the two captain's chairs turned around, I now have two more recliners. So we've got the little button here on each side and there goes the footrest. So now I can either choose to sit in the recliners or the captain's chairs. Lots of seating for all of your guests. Another bonus with the passenger chair is that you've got your little extra table so that you can use this while you're going down the road, you know, or you can use it here if you wanna sit and, you know, work, have this be your office or work on the crossword or whatever and visit with everyone. It's really nice to have this little extra desk. And then it just tucks away when you're done with it. This ultra leather is buttery soft. You really just have to um, come out and sit in it to really see what it's like. And the recliners are very comfortable. So you can just hit that then push forward and you can recline very comfortable. I love the recliners. And we've got this nice end table in between. Some of the features that I like on this We've got our cup holders here. So again, that makes this table. You can use all that usable space. Not having to worry about a cup that's getting wet on your pretty counter. Beautiful countertops that we get throughout the Ventana. And then we have soft closed drawers. So again, when I said that Numar doesn't know how to make an entry level coach, um, this definitely is not. And soft clothes. Some of my really high-end manufacturers don't have soft clothes on their doors. So I think that's a very nice feature. Then we've got the multiplex lighting system throughout this coach. So as I go through, I'll kind of walk you through the panels. So we have our reading lights, our right and left, and then our wall lights. This is our televator button, so we can bring our TV up or down right here. Ceiling lights, accent lights, and then the high-low, so you can go to a high or you can dim them just at the push of a button. And behind each recliner, we have two 110 outlet and two USB outlets. Now let's check out the storage that we have. So I love this overhead cabinet space because there's no divider in there. So you've got all that space for storage. I like to use like plastic bins so you can kind of organize things in there, but it's very easy to get to. It's pretty deep here, so that plastic bin might come in handy, but great amount of storage. And then let's head over here. We've got our nice sofa here. We're gonna make that into a bed. So this coach will, um, you'll have seat belts for four. So your captain's chairs and the two in, this, in the sofa here. You do not have seat belts in your recliners and they are not anchored to the, um, to the ground. So you can move those around. Um, now we have our 50 inch Samsung 
TV here, which is wonderful on the televator. So again, that button is over there by the recliners. You don't even have to get out of your seat to bring that up and down. All right, so let's check out our space here. So we've got a nice amount of space. We've got this space that's taken. Now, Newmar uses a header, just like you would use when you were building a home in home construction. Uh, really, the whole construction of this coach is very similar, similar to residential buildings. So we have um, aluminum studs, 16 inch on center or closer. We've got insulation in our walls and our roof and our floor. So it's well insul insulated. This coach is gonna stay, stay cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. We've got our Bose sound system. All right, and behind here, we've got our Sony um, Blu-ray DVD player. We've got our Dish Network prep only input there. And then we've got an additional 110 outlet that's free. And we've got a little glass covering so that we, our remotes will work through there. And one more storage compartment. All right, so let's check out the bed that we get in the 4369 when we choose the options for the recliners and the sofa. Now, I almost think you have extra options because I could sleep in those recliners, no problem. <laughs> then you're gonna reach down here for a black. I'm just gonna release that and then pull it forward. becomes the base of your bed and then just flip this down now you've got an air mattress and the the pump and everything is already in it so just unclip your mattress all right so once you've got that out go ahead and plug that in and then you can just turn it on So now that the bed's all blown up, just throw on some sheets. I've got two king size pillows on here, so it's a nice size um, blow up mattress. It's gonna be very comfortable sleep for your guests. And then you're probably wanting to now dim the lights, so very easy to do. We've got a multiplex light panel right here. So when you first walk in the coach, you can hit the top two buttons and your lights will come on, or you're kind of your running lights. but. You also have your ceiling light, your bathroom light, bedroom light, accent lights, and your high-low. So now that we're ready for bed, you might wanna just go ahead and dim the lights just a little bit to soften it up, and you can just do it with a touch of one button. I wanna point out the beautiful details in the Ventana. First of all, gorgeous ceiling, soft touch of vinyl, and then this beautiful ceiling treatment. And you'll notice no vents. No vents because all those vents are behind the ceiling treatment. When your slides come in, all your AC is still fully exposed in the coach. So you're not cooling this, the, the tops of the slides and then having that air spill over. It's literally down the center of your coach. That's why you're not gonna see a ceiling fan in a new Mars because their AC units and vents are right down the center of the coach. Now, this is also very easy to change your filters too. So all you have to do is reach up and it's strong magnets to pull that down. And then so easy to change the filter because you can just stick your fingers in there, pull it out, change the filter, go and wash it off, bring it back, and then it just pushes right back in. And when you're done with all the work, just snap it back into place. And we have our smoke detector here at the front of the coach. So how beautiful is the kitchen in the 4369? I just love it. First of all, look at the beautiful solid surface countertops. Um, I think they're gorgeous. They give us a little like splash guard here so that nothing spills over onto our sofa. And we've got the beautiful backsplash, very residential looking. Now again, I noted outside that we, we optioned in the kitchen window. I love that kitchen window because you have so much more um, light in the coach and it just brings the outside in which I love then right here to the side we've got the lights for the kitchen overhead lights the seating lights our back lights and the water pump we can turn those on right here and speaking of counter space Newmar gives us a little extra in the 4369 so 
I know that that's what a lot of my customers are constantly talking about is that they want more counter space in their kitchens. Look how wide this is and how far it extends. Really nice. And then full extension drawers. And look what Numar even gives us. They give us a little paint samples for our exterior paint. Now, you know, touch up. We all have little boo-boos here and there. If you happen to get a big boo-boo and you need help, uh, first call should be to National Indoor RV Centers. We will help you with everything. We'll call your insurance company. We'll help you get the claim started. Um, and there's no one better to take care of your coach than National Indoor RV Centers. I did a full video on our collision and body repair. Um, the gentlemen that work in that um, department are, are artists. They can match paint perfectly. Um, so anyway, if, if that awful thing happens, make sure you call us first and we will help you through it. Then we've got another full extension drawer here. And I don't know if you saw how I got this to come out. So it just pushes right back in, but there's a little button that's kind of disguised. You just push that and that's what releases that to come out and you can just push it back in. Now we've got our, we elected for the all electric package on this coach. So we get the induction cooktop versus the gas stove. We've got the cutting boards on the back side of our stove covers. I love that because everything now is usable. So if I'm not using my stove, I'm gonna turn these over and I'm gonna use these as cutting boards. Now let's say that um, we're cooking salmon. I love salmon, but I hate the way it makes my coach smell. Um, so I wanna do that outside. And all you have to do, you have a little outlet in your um, storage compartment. You can put an extension cord, take, your induction cooktop right outside. You just unplug it here, walk it outside, put it on the picnic table or on a stand outside, and you can do all your cooking outside. Or maybe it's just a lovely day and the whole reason you RV is because you like to be outside. You can do all your cooking out there too. So we go around still, lots of storage space, our residential faucets. I love this, how fun is that? And we've got our sink covers. I love the sink, sink covers. We have a two um, bowl sink here, stainless steel sink. And I like that these covers, you can kind of, you know, hide all your dirty dishes if you need to. Um, so you can just slide those across and still have access to one side. It's a nice little feature. And then underneath here, we're gonna need outlets for our coffee pots, for our blenders, for our Instapot. You'll notice that they didn't put outlets where you can see them and our backsplash. They're up underneath the cabinets. So we've got our lights here and we've got two outlets there and two outlets in the middle. All right, so we've got great storage in the kitchen as well. We've got adjustable shelves here. And then we've got a little spice storage here our convection microwave oven and the handles just to the side so it just pulls open now don't be afraid to to bake in this Nettie. this one goes out to you i walked into her coach one day she had this beautiful loaf of bread and i was like wow you cooked that in your convection um, microwave oven she's like i sure do i make one every day anyway it's beautiful so it might take a little trial and error until you get it all figured out but I think you'll really like that convection uh, microwave oven. Then big storage here above the sink with the pull-out tray. So we have access to the very back and adjustable shelf, or you can take out that shelf altogether. Maybe you wanna put a big crock pot or Instapot in here because you use it all the time. Um, take out that shelf and you've got lots of space. And one more little compartment here on the side. But we're not done, let's go down below our countertop here. I love that even though it's a little narrow space, Numar gives you access to it because you storage is what it's all about when you're in a coach, right? When you're living in 45 feet or vacationing in 45 feet, you want to have all that storage. And a place for the garbage can. I love that. We've optioned this Ventana with the dishwasher. So you can have that be just a cabinet there or you can get the dishwasher. Nice size dishwasher. And then we have this nice big drawer um, below the cooktop. So you see that we've filled it with remotes. 
Okay, just don't ask me about the remotes. Um, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's what our techs are here for at National Indoor RV Centers because they've got the satellite system and the remotes down pat. Um, so they will help you with those. And we've got our flagpole holder. So this just slides into that uh, slot out there outside the coach and you can put your flagpole in here. Really cool. All right, so now to the beautiful dining room of the 4369. Now we optioned this coach in with the combination desk dinette. So I do about 50% of the combo desk dinette and about 50% the Euro booth. Um, typically people that want the combo desk dinette, they like the buffet area in the back here. They can put pictures, they can use this as, if they're gonna use their coach as their office. This gives you more storage, but you've got really nice comfy chairs. And then let's just check out our storage here. So, this can be a filing cabinet drawer if you need it to be. Nice full extension drawers again with the soft close. And you actually have a decent size, size cabinet right underneath the table. Not the easiest to get to, but it's pretty deep with an adjustable shelf. So, a lot of space to work with there. And then we've got a drop down with a pull out. So we could put our keyboard here, our laptop here. We can plug, th um, thread a plug through here. We've got our two 110 outlets and our USB outlets here. And then we have another adjustable shelf. So a lot of space there. So also at the end of our counter over here, we've got two 110 outlets and two more USB ports. Also notice the beautiful accent lighting that's new for 2021. And then check out our storage that we have above the dinette here. Lots of usable space there. And then, you know, this beautiful coach, don't you want to invite your friends over? First of all, these comfy chairs now come standard with the uh, ultra leather on them so you don't have to worry about the fabric getting stained then you can just extend your table super easy and then you've got chairs that you can store underneath your master bed so you can easily feed four people Another great add for 2021 is that Numar made all their windows larger. So here you're sitting at the dinette. You've got this nice big window. We've got our MCD night shades and we have our MCD uh, day shades as well. And those are just manual. And you've got windows that you can open as well. All right, so we get the Whirlpool residential refrigerator in the Ventana and we've got the water in the front door, which is a nice feature. Look at that, that is a nice, big, deep refrigerator. Lots of compartments, just like your refrigerator at home. Huge freezer with an ice maker. We love the ice maker, that is definitely our friend. And then, Numar gives us a nice, easy lock, because you wanna make sure you, tr you uh, lock your refrigerator before you travel so that those don't fly open, you don't have food all over the place. Again, if you want a copy of my checklist from my RV 101 videos, please just email me at angie at nirvc.com and I'd be happy to share that with you. Then we have a huge pantry in the 4369. That's probably one of the big features. Um, one of the reasons people like this floor plan is that you do have a lot of space here. You can adjust these shelves and they do have the push to lock in. Um, feature here so you just push them in they lock in place so they're not going to come out during travel then to release them just push in and pull out and you can see like you can get a lot of stuff in here <laughs> no one's going to be short of food all right, so before we go into the half bath, I wanted to point out a few things. First of all, we have a thermistor here. So that's what speaks to the thermostat and helps keep the temperature in the coach nice and comfortable where you've got it set. Then we've got our fantastic fan vent control. So this is the control for the kitchen fan. And you can set that so that it will come on once the temperature in the coach reaches, if it gets too hot for your setting, it will go ahead and open and come on. And we also have a rain sensor that you can turn on and off. So if you wanna override that, you can do that there. 
Then just below that, again, I told you outside that we added the central vac. So this is where you would hook up your hose and the whole hose system was down in your storage compartment, but it will go to the front and the back of your coach. And then we've got our little kick plate here that you just, or kick plate, dustpan. Um, I think it's like magic. I love it. I wish I had one in my house because <laughs> you just sweep everything over to it, kick that up and it just sucks it all away. It's like magic. Um, so now to our half bath. All right, so to the roomy half bath of the 4369. Love the space that you have here. Love the hardware that they chose um, for this, for the Ventana. I just think it's really current and looks nice. And the cute lighting here, just love it. We also have a fantastic vent here in the bathroom and our control is right there. We also have the control for our ceiling lights, our vanity lights, and our water pump. Then we have our heater fan we can turn on right here and we have our two um, 110 outlets again residential faucet we've got the vessel sink the vessel sink is a bonus here because it gives us a little extra counter space to work with which is nice and then we've got this nice vanity our medicine cabinet here behind the mirror and another nice storage here underneath the sink and then we've got our breaker box and our fuse panel. So we've got our fuses here. They're labeled really nicely there. And then we've got the extra fuses again. Numar has given those to us. So they're ready when we need them. We've got our Dometic toilet holder for our toilet paper. And then we've got a nice cabinet here behind the door for more storage. So we're finally to the master bedroom. Isn't this gorgeous? So you've got this huge king size bed. And with this full wall slide, it really opens up your whole coach and makes your bedroom feel big. We've got this privacy door here that you just push down to release the door. And then you've got pa raised panel on the other side that gives you great privacy in your coach. And you can make this room nice and dark so you can get a good night's sleep. Now, one of the things I like about this um, bedspread that they chose this year, it's really light. So a lot of my customers complain that it's a little too heavy, typically what they put in here. So this is nice and light. You could throw another comforter on top of it too. So I just like the way that they've changed things up a little bit this year. Now, what comes standard in the Ventana is just a plush pillow top mattress. We went ahead and optioned in this sleep number. We've got nightstands on both sides of the bed and just below the nightstand we have two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports and then a little cabinet for storage. I love that Numar gives you the nightstand on either side but even more so what I love. So what do you notice? What well, looks different here? Oh, there's actually space between the nightstand and the bed. They've given us extra space on both sides of the bed, so it's much easier to make this year, which is great. We have the beautiful headboard. We have windows, so if it's a nice evening, you can open up those windows, get a nice cross breeze. And then another thing I really think is smart that Numar has done, because so many of my customers have a CPAP machine. So you can actually put the machine up there. There's outlets in your storage compartments, and you can thread a, co a cord through here if you need to. So nice feature. They're just always thinking of things that will help their customer. And then underneath the cabinets here, we've got the control for the passenger side security light. So if you hear something outside while you're sleeping, you can throw on that light and kind of scare whatever is out there away. Okay, then we have our accent light, our right side reading light, back lights. We have our ceiling light, courtesy light, left side reading light and our high low or high and dim switch. Here we have our second thermistor for the coach in the bedroom and then we've got a switch for our speakers. And we've got storage underneath the bed, quite a bit of storage and it's really easy to get to. So we've got the chairs in here. I could put those both in one compartment if I kind of put them in there better and you'll have a whole section that's just totally available for whatever you need to put there. I think one of the reasons that the 4369 has been and is such a popular floor plan is the amount of storage and space here in the master bedroom. So you have two big, huge wardrobes. So we've got lighting in here and you have 
another one that's just as big over here. So I've been in a lot of coaches where this is your only storage, but we have this, plus we have a full closet in our master bathroom. So lots of space. And then we've got drawers. Again, soft clothes. I know you get, might get tired of me saying that, but <laughs> that's a huge feature on a coach at this price point. And then we've got the drop down here. We have our Sony Blu-ray DVD player. We have two 110 outlets in the back. And then we have another big drawer here. I also like this space here. You know, more of this beautiful solid surface countertop. Another window here. And then check out this TV. This is our third 43 inch Samsung TV in the coach. So we have one overhead over the um, in the dash area we have one outside we have one in the bedroom and then we have the 50 inch samsung tv in the living room so inside or out you're going to be able to watch whatever tv or um, entertainment show you want to watch on your lovely tvs so over here on the other side of the bed again i just want to note that there is still space to make that bed another uh, nightstand here our two 110 outlets and two usb charging ports, our storage space, and we have the same um, drop through space here for a cord on both sides of the bed. So again, if you need that CPAP machine, you've got the outlet the space for a cord to drop through. They've kind of thought of everything. Now as we step into the master bathroom, it's just a small little step and I like that too. And right inside, first thing you're going to notice is we've optioned in the Splendid washer and dryer. All right, so first of all, look at that humongous shower. But before we even go into the shower, I wanna point out that we have a towel hook here. I know that sounds silly, but um, af customer after, after customer, once they've been in their coach, they want more spaces to hang their towels. So I love that. I love that we have it here on the door. This is a 50 by 34 inch shower. So huge shower. And we've got the drop down seat so we can put that down if we want to sit down and shave our legs. Um, then we've got the adjustable handheld um, shower head and then we've got the stationary one. We've got a nice skylight in here so if you've got someone that's super tall <laughs> I don't think you're going to have a problem. Probably 6'5 can easily get in here have a nice shower and not be touching the ceiling. Um, then <clears throat> I love this little recessed area here that we have for soaps or, you know, just to set up our soap. It's nice to have a place to put that where it's not going to slide all over the place. And then one of the great features that we get in the Ventana is the Aquaview Shower Miser. So what this does is when you have the little nozzle pointing down, that means that the water is recirculating. So you want to get into the shower, you want to warm up the water so that you don't have that cold, um, you know, you don't have to have a cold shower. Well, you're wasting water because you're letting the water run, so you're using your fresh water tank and then you're filling up your gray water tank needlessly. So if you come in here, push it down, it's going to recycle that water until it's warm. As soon as the water's warm, this little bulb here is going to light up and then you're just going to switch this and turn it up. Once it up, the water is now heading up to the shower head or to the handheld device. Now you just need to give it like one second because the water that's in this line here is still gonna be chilly. So it might give you a little bit of a chill if you uh, have that on you. But basically you're gonna have hot water as soon as you want it in the shower if you use that system. And it's gonna save you needlessly filling up your gray water tank while you get that water warm. Again, another high-end feature of this coach is that you've got the glass shower enclosure, beautiful shower wall. Just love the way that they've finished out the Ventana. All right, so we've got our Dometic toilet with push button controls and there's a wave feature. So watch this. If I just, I'm not pushing right there. I can do it without having to actually push a button, which is nice. Right next to the window here, we have the fantastic fan vent for the bathroom fan. And then we've got our emergency exit door. So I'm going to go ahead and raise my blinds. Now this whole valance will actually pull off the wall. I'm not going to do it, but it's really easy. It pulls off and then it snaps right back in. So I'm just going to unlock the door here and make sure it's unlocked here as well. 
open the door. Then you've got this panel that just magnets on and off. Take that off. Release the Velcro strap. And let that ladder just telescope down. And you're good to go, ready to get out. And you've got a nice grab bar here as you go in or out of the coach. And now you'll see what I mean when I talk about storage space. So all the space that's in the master bedroom. And then check out the space that this, that's in this master uh, bedroom closet. So these are adjustable shelves. You can take them out completely if you want. You've got a safe that's right behind the shelves. And then we have full access here. So much space and space where we can put folded items here, folded items across the top, lit, great wardrobe space, so much storage. All right, so check out this vanity. I don't know, maybe I'm just in love with this solid surface countertop. I think it's so pretty, but look at the faucets. How fun are those? And then we've got the octagon shaped sink and they're just fully integrated. So you go from the solid surface countertop right into the sink. I like that because there's no seam there for any, you know, bacteria or anything to grow. So I just think that looks really nice. Then we've got nice medicine cabinet on both sides. So I like the double sinks. I call that the marriage saver. So is this. You need all the space you can get. And then we've got two 110 outlets here on this side, two 110 outlets on that side. We've got the towel rings for our hand towels which is so nice and then check out the storage here underneath the sinks and four full extension drawers so really so many reasons to love this floor plan and then we've got the lighting panel for our ceiling lights, our vanity lights, our water pump, our backlights, and our high, low, or dim lights. So I always like to show the coaches with the slides in so you can see what kind of walkway you have. So in the 4369, I'm back here in the bedroom. I could sleep on the bed. The cabinet comes over the edge of the end of the bed, maybe a couple, just a couple of inches, but then I can easily get into my pantry and extend that pantry. I can get into my refrigerator and my freezer. Now the great thing about this half bathroom is they give us the pocket door. So with the slides retracted, no worry about that pocket door hitting my trim here or my refrigerator. I can easily get in and out. I could be at the kitchen sink. I could be cooking on the stove, microwave, sitting in my recliner, on the sofa, very easy to get through. So here we are in the cockpit. Um, I'm in the comfiest chairs right now. I think I can just go ahead and take a nap. It's been a long day, <laughs> but you are gonna love these chairs. Very comfortable, really easy to adjust the, the arm rest here. You just put your finger inside there and just lift the little lever and then it's, you can just adjust it to where it's perfect. These are six way powered chairs. So very easy, just forward and back up and down and then we've got this lever here is what allows us to turn the chair we want to turn it around to be part of the living room and we have the power lumbar support here so you can adjust that till it's just right for you and then we've got these um, footrest so when we've got this chair turned around we can use this button to adjust the footrest and then we have this lever here to adjust the back of our chair forward and back make that nice and comfy for us to drive. And another bonus on the Ventana is that we've got adjustable seat belts. So that you can adjust those seat belts so that when you put them on you that they go across the right part of your chest. So if you're super tall, you can move it up. If you're super short, you can move it all the way down. Over here to the left, we have our equalizer system, which is our hydraulic leveling jacks. So we can do that from the pad here, or you can just easily do like I did. So you can just download the app and pair it really easily um, to the app. I should have shown you, but I've already done it, but it was super simple. You just swiped down and then you held the two up arrows on the actual physical equalizer system for 10 seconds and it paired and then I was able to put in my own code and it downloaded to my phone. Super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and power it on and hit 
auto level. So it's giving me the status of what's happening right now. It's operating, we're at low voltage and the ignition is on. You'll also notice that it says excessive slope. If for some reason we were at a campground where we couldn't level, we would get that message. We have four solid lights, we're all level. Now I wanna leave the campground, so I'm gonna hit all retract. All right, so here we've got a little cubby here that's very easy for me to reach. I could probably put my cell phone in there and I've got more cubby space here below. And then right behind here, I've got two 110 outlets. Then up top, we've got our tag dump. And I'm just gonna always keep that in auto. The only time I'm ever gonna change that is if I were, say, you know, stuck in sand or mud or something where I needed extra traction, I would put that down. And then we've got our air horn. Again, I'm gonna always keep that on. We've got two drink holders, which is nice. So you can have your Diet Coke and your coffee or your water. Um, just nice to have options there. Then we've got our controls for our exterior mirrors and the defrost for our exterior mirrors. We've got our lights here. So we've got our running lights and then we've got our headlights. And then if we pull that out, then we've got our fog lights. We've got our dome light, which is just above me here. And this is our house and chassis battery boost button. All right, so let's say that you've gone to Canton, Texas for the day. If anyone knows, has been to Canton, you'll know what I'm talking about. And you got a little distracted. You were way longer than you thought you should have. And you come back to your coach and your um, batteries are dead. You can't get the coach to start. So you want to take that battery boost button and you're going to tie your chassis and your house batteries together to give you enough power to start your generator, let your generator run for a little bit, and then go ahead and start your coach. So something you'll always want to have in your back pocket. All right, so down here, I'm going to use my toe to point. <laughs> We've got our Deutsch plug, and that is where your technician can plug into the diagnostics of your coach and, you know, diagnose any problems diagnose any problems that you have then this pedal here is going to help you adjust your steering column so you just push that down and then you can telescope it out and then lift it forward and back until it's in the right position for you all right so right here on the steering column we've got a little knob down here that we're just going to turn down to unlock it and then as you push it forward and back you can adjust the pedals and then once you've got them where you like them, just go ahead and turn it and they lock into place there so they're not moving anymore. So with the Freightliner chassis, you get the drive tech technology. Um, Freightliner has all the research and development of Daimler Chrysler behind them. So all the controls now have been moved to the steering column and it's very easy to use, very easy to get to everything and you don't have to be looking anywhere but the steering column. So right here is gonna give us our information on our nice big dash. Look how great that is and easy it is to see. So I can press the home button here so I can scroll through my trip information. I can go back. I can go to gauges. And I can customize these so that I have the gauges that I want like quick gauges that come up easily and I can do that right here. I just go back and you can see that these are my custom gauges that I can scroll through really quickly while I'm driving. Then I can go to my fuel economy, vehicle config configuration, my dash brightness, my Bluetooth, so customize your screen here a little bit diagnostics, so faults, it will give me any fault codes that I have, internal diagnostic, transmission prognosis, so we have the Allison transmission, and it's going to let me know that the engine speed is low, we're not moving right now, filter status is okay, and oil life is 99%. All right, so vehicle configuration, we're gonna go ahead and hit that. This is where you can adjust the brightness of your, of your dash, add your Bluetooth, your units, steering effort. So this is where we have comfort drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into there. Now I can make the resistance in the steering column less or more right here. Comfort drive is going to work the same amount 
whether I have the resistance on high or low. It's still going to be that computer detecting uh, the wind or bringing me back to center regardless of where I am on my steering column. But this, I like to be up where it's higher when I'm going on the highway because I want to feel more resistance and stiffness in my steering column. When I'm in a parking lot, I want less resistance and I want that to be easier to turn my steering column and so I'll turn it down. But you can do that while you're driving. And again, once you get used to this whole system, that's not gonna be a problem. Right here, we have the controls for our radio, so I can turn up the volume or turn down the volume here. Of course, we have our horn. I, again, am always gonna have that air horn on because I wanna make sure who's ever in front of me sees me and hears me coming. Then we can Bluetooth our phone into the coach so I can answer a phone call and hang up a phone call from here. And then we've got our cruise control. So I just hit my cruise control on here and then I hit set when I'm up to the speed I wanna be at or if I wanna go into high idle mode, I put my cruise control on when I'm starting at my coach and just wanna air up quicker and hit set and you'll see those RPMs go up. This is our resume and this is our mute button. These are our, and then I can cancel my cruise control here. These are my marker lights, so I can flash them. You can actually see in the camera that my lights are flashing. So you can use those with truckers at night if you're driving and they let you know that it's safe to come back into the lane. You want to say thank you, you just hit those three times and that's how you say thank you. So kind of a courtesy light there. So here we have our paddle to our left. It's going to control our signal light, so up and down for left and right, and then we can pull forward if we want to turn our brights on, flash our brights, and then we have our windshield wiper control. So you can set the speed and our windshield wiper fluid here. So on the Freightliner chassis, all the transmission controls are right here at your fingertips, and it's really easy. I know that we're used to having them all over here to the left-hand side, but I promise you, you're going to get used to this very quickly. So you just easily shift from from neutral to drive and reverse. And then you have your engine brake. So it's off when it's up. When you take it down, you now have your engine brake on. So in an emergency, if you don't have it on, you want to throw it on quickly and brake, you can do that. And then in, you can manually shift too. So if you want to manually shift, you're going to push the paddle away from you. And then you can shift up one, two, three, four, once you get to fifth, fifth gear, it will automatically go back into auto mode. But if you wanna just put it back into auto mode really quick, you just hit the button once. Now, if you want to go to economy mode, you just push and hold and you'll be in economy mode. I always go into economy mode because I figured I might as, well, might as well save where I can, right? And then we have our emergency lights right here. All right, so we have our great digital displays here. I can click through my rear view camera and my side view cameras. Now I'm in the storage facility at our National Indoor RV Centers in Louisville, Texas, so you're not gonna see much, but I'll show more of this when we're out in our test drive. And then we've also got our camera system over here. So here we have that 360 view that I've been talking about all day. Love this, really enjoy it when I'm driving down the road and I'll show you that during our test drive as well just because it gives me a sense of security just knowing what's around me. So we can go to our main menu system here. We've got our radio, our DVD, our USB, our XM radio, our Bluetooth. We have two auxiliary inputs, iPod, and then we've got our nav system here. Go to that easily or you can go to it from this button here and our settings so you can customize everything that you see on the screen along with the beep tone. Just make it more exactly how you want it. And then we've got our nav card here. So if you ever need to update your nav card, this is where that is stored. And then we have our front auxiliary input and USB input. All right, so we have our front visor and then we have our front blackout shade we have our overhead fans, and you can make those high, medium, or low. We can start and stop the generator from here. And then we have our front fan for our furnace that we can put on high or low. Then we've got the controls for our AC and heat here at the dash. So we can make that fan as strong as we want from one to four, 
cool to hot, and then we can direct that airflow. We have a great spot here. We, we can lay our cell phones, nice little rubber mat so they're not going to rattle when you're going down the road. You've got your USB, two inputs here, 12 volt. You can lock and unlock your entry door. Then we have a control for our 360 camera. Now I can scroll through my different cameras and decide where I want to land, what, what view I want to land on. Then we have a nice little tray for miscellaneous items. One more there. Here in the co-captain's chair, it's super comfortable. And we've got a cup holder here. We've got a little cubby for storage. Then we have our step cover. So I can just extend that super easy. That way I don't have to worry about falling in there when I go to get out of my seat while we're traveling. And then we've got our map light right above me and the patio light for the front entry. And then for 2021, we have the new um, wireless charging pad. So all I have to do is take my phone, just get it on there. It will give me a little beep. And now it's charging. Now, if I, my phone isn't compatible and won't charge wires wirelessly, I do have two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports. All right, so let's go ahead and head out for a test drive in the Ventana. First of all, I don't want you to be scared to drive a Class A diesel. Um, I know the first time you go out, you'll probably be a little nervous, maybe a little white knuckle. Um, <laughs> that's what I had for sure the first time I went out because um, they had me drive to downtown Dallas on my first trip out. So I wouldn't do that to any of you, but really you fit in the lane, um, you sit up tall, you're bigger than everyone else, take it slow, you're not gonna have a problem. Um, just the more time you have behind the wheel, the better you'll get at it. So, you know, I recommend going to a park initially and getting, you know, kind of your bearings with the coach, getting comfortable with it, you know, have cars around you. And then when you're on the, you know, highway, pull over and take over the wheel um, because highway driving is very easy and it, again you get comfortable in your lane and remember that typically most of the bad things happen on the right in the far right um, on the right side of the coach so you want to hug the left side of the lane that you're in um, if I heard it once I heard it 10,000 times when I was first driving a class A diesel to hug the left side of the lane that I'm in don't stay in the left lane because that will make people mad and that's not very good courteous driving um skills but i promise you you can do this don't be afraid come out to national indoor rv centers we would love to take you for a test drive um put you in the seat make you comfortable and let you know that this is something that you can do and that you'll really enjoy so in the ventana there's lots of features that are built into this coach with the freightliner custom chassis we have the v-ride suspension that's going to give us a um smaller tree radius curb to curb it's also going to eliminate that tire scrub which is great we also have v ride suspension so that's going to give us just a superior uh, roll control so when you're going around a uh, curve you can kind of feel top heavy in some coaches you're not going to feel like that in the ventano with the, the with the um, freightliner chassis and then a new feature for 2021 is they've added the bell crank so that it eliminates the bump steer. So if I go over a big bump, my steering column is not going to move. So that's a really nice feature. And again, just makes this a very smooth riding coach. And again, you also have comfort drive, which is something that Numar is known for. Um, basically what comfort drive is, is it's a computer aided driving assist. So if I'm heading down the road and there's a strong wind pushing against this big old coach, you know, that's um, 43 feet and 10 inches long, um, you're going to feel that, right? Well, the coach feels it, the computer detects that, and then it adjusts for you. So you're never going to be fighting the steering wheel, um, which is really nice. So customers that have come from other manufacturers to Newmark are like, I can drive longer with less tension. It's more comfortable um, really you know I'm talking with my hands 
you can drive with one hand on the steering wheel. Always safer to have two, but um, you can. So just a nice feature. So one of the things that I like about this too is we've got cruise control. That makes the getting there very easy and pleasant. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit my cruise control on. As I get onto the freeway here in a minute, I'll set it and then I really don't have to worry about anything. All right, so you can see it's a pretty uh, busy time of the day here in Texas. I can go ahead and I can see that 360 view up here on my camera that I love. And then if I want, I can scroll through the other views and see exactly what is important to me. But you can see that I've got cars to the right of me. It would not be safe to change lanes. Obviously, I can see that in my great um, exterior mirrors. Those are really lifesavers. That's another thing. Don't be afraid to drive these. If you're turning and you're afraid you're gonna hit the curb or you're turning too tight, use those mirrors. They will be your saving grace. If you can see that you're gonna hit the curb, slow down or stop, adjust, and you can miss it. It's really, it's that easy. So don't be nervous. Come out to National Indoor RV Centers and take one for a test drive. Because RVing, part of the fun of it is the getting there. That's a great thing. So. Your vacation starts as soon as you get behind the wheel because you've got this great big screen, this beautiful country to look at, and so the getting there is just as much fun as the being there. So one of the things you want to be careful of when you're driving, especially on the freeway or even around town, are big trucks. Um, cement trucks, semi trucks, you really don't want to follow too closely to them. Um, you want to do everything possible to, the, to protect your front windshield because um, you need to have that cracked. Of course, if you do have one, who do you call? National Indoor RV Centers, and we can fix you up and take care of you. All right, so I'm on the freeway now. I'm gonna go ahead and set my cruise control. I'm at 61 miles per hour, and now I can just sit back, sit back and relax and enjoy the views. I've got my engine brake on. So again, if I need to brake quickly, that's gonna help me. I wanna have all the help I can get. And now, if you've watched my videos, you know what's next, right? All right, decibel reader. So I want you to know how quiet this coach is to drive. So literally, 67.7. Um, that's as quiet as my car, maybe quieter than my car. So you are going to be able to be in the coach, talk with your co-pilot, there's no yelling. I could even have the generator running. I don't right now, but generator running, AC's going no problem whatsoever. So I hope you've enjoyed my tour of the 2021 Numar Ventana 4369. Now I'm sure you're wondering how much this gorgeous coach would cost. Well MSRP is $415,135. Now if you want to know how much under MSRP I can sell you this coach for, please give us a call at 469-277-1330 and we'd be happy to help you. Again, at National Indoor RV Centers, we want to make it super easy and delightful to do business with us. So no high pressure, I promise. Give us a call. We take in trades. We do consignments. We offer financing. Typically, most of my customers will finance a coach like this for 20 years. We offer um, extended service plans. You name it. We do it all at National Indoor RV Centers and we promise to make it a fun and enjoyable experience. Also remember with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. Also make sure you check out my RVing 101 video so you can see all the tips and tricks from seasoned RVers and how I do things. Now if you get in a fender bender, check out my collision and repair video and then make sure if you want to have fun and really enjoy RVing, you got to come to one of our AIM Club events. So All Inclusive Motorhome Club, I go to all of our events. I'd love to meet you there. Check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you see that the Ventana is just packed full of value at this price point. I appreciate you spending this time with me and have a great day.